In this video, we're going to learn how to treat mixtures of gases. In all of the work that we have done until now with gases, uh, including the ideal gas equation of state, uh, we actually have considered that there was only one gas uh, uh, that we were uh, thinking about. Uh, but of course, um, in common environments, such as Earth's uh, atmosphere, or in any planetary atmosphere in general, uh, we actually have a mixture of gases. There's more than one gas. So the question is, how, how do we think about those mixtures of gases, and how uh, do we begin to quantify uh, what's going on there? All right, so the key law that you need to understand uh, to begin to uh, uh, learn about mixtures of, of gases is Dalton's law. Okay, Dalton's law is as follows. When you have a mixture of gases, the total pressure uh, exerted by all those gases is simply the sum of the individual pressures of uh, all of the gases that you have. Okay, this is what it is. And it's actually a very profound law. Uh, we're going to think about this in this way. Okay, suppose that you have a container. In this case, it's a box. And then you have uh, one gas that we're going to call A. All right, uh, distributed kind of uniformly, and then some uh, different gas uh, that is going to be P. All right, what Dalton's law tells you is that the total pressure that you actually have right here would be the pressure if A was by itself without any B, uh, 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 and you have to add to that the pressure if B was by itself without any A. Right, so again, uh, these, are, these are the pressures that you will have with the individual components if they were by themselves in the mixture with no other gases. And again, uh, uh, that is what we call uh, Dalton's law. Now, moving forward a little bit, uh, when you have a mixture of gases, it's uh, very important to uh, try to quantify how much of each gas you have. Okay, And to do that, uh, we can use something that is called the mole fraction of each component in the gas. The definition of the mole fraction is this. So the mole fraction of component A in a mixture with other gases would be equal to the number of moles of A that you have divided over uh, the total number of moles. Okay, so the number of, total number of moles would be uh, the number of moles of A, B, C, and however many components uh, you actually have. Okay, now there's something very interesting about this mole fraction. These are numbers that are between zero and one. So if you have uh, uh, eight moles of oxygen and two moles of nitrogen, for example, uh, that's 10 moles of gas total, the mole fraction of oxygen would be 0.8 and the mole fraction uh, of nitrogen would be 0.2. Okay? Uh, now, something that, is, uh, that happens uh, if the gases behave ideally is that you can think that uh, solving the ideal gas equation by the number of moles, we actually have the following. Right? That is going to be equal to P, V over RT. Because all of the gases are at the same temperature in the container and they all occupy the same volume, Okay, you can clearly see that uh, the number of moles and the pressure are di related, uh, directly uh, related by a constant. Okay, so this mole fraction can also be written uh, as depending on the pressures. Okay, that is the pressure of A, and that is the pressure uh, total. Okay, these two definitions are equivalent if you have ideality, if you have ideal gas behavior, which again uh, uh, happens uh, when you have. Uh, reasonably low pressures, like atmospheric pressure. Okay. All right. So uh, uh, moving forward, uh, we're actually going to do here an example to uh, quantify a little bit these um, uh, partial pressures and uh, the mole fractions. Okay. The example that we're going to uh, try to calculate here would be uh, use, using Earth's atmosphere, atmosphere or a model of Earth's atmosphere. We're going to try to quantify what the partial pressure of oxygen would be in the atmosphere. Okay, so uh, suppose that we have again a model of an atmosphere with only two gases, uh, nitrogen and oxygen. Okay, in the real atmosphere we actually have many more such as argon and then traces of carbon dioxide, water and so forth. Okay, but just for, uh, for the sake of simplicity we're going to assume that we only have oxygen and nitrogen. Now the total pressure that we have in our model is going to be equal to uh, 754 torr, which is very close to atmospheric pressure. One atmosphere would be 760 uh, torr. Okay, and that mixture uh, of gases, we're going to do it with uh, the following uh, um, moles of oxygen and nitrogen. So for nitrogen, we're actually going to have a 0 0.780 mole. And then for oxygen, 
we're going to have uh, 0 0.210 mole. Okay? So they are the same pressure, the same temperature, this is the uh, relative amount of each one. And the question then would be to calculate what is the partial pressure of O2. Okay? So how much of this pressure is due solely to uh, the amount of oxygen present? Okay? All right, so uh, let's see how we can uh, use what we have right there in order to figure this out. Notice that uh, we actually provided the total pressure, okay, we have that number, okay, and uh, uh, we are being asked for this, okay, but in this case we're interested in that for oxygen as opposed to just component A, right? So the question is, well, how do we actually get then uh, what is needed? We have this number, we're being asked for that, so if we actually are able to obtain the mole fraction of oxygen somehow, then uh, we were set up to solve that problem. Notice that the mole fraction, okay, of oxygen can be obtained with this equation, which uh, utilizes the moles of it, right? So adapting this expression of the mole fraction for uh, the problem at hand, we can say that uh, the mole fraction of oxygen is gonna be equal to the number of moles of oxygen plus the total number of moles, which is simply the sum of the total number uh, of the moles of oxygen and the moles of nitrogen. Okay, all right, so uh, we can operate here. Mole fraction of O2 is equal to uh, the numbers that we have right here, 0 0.210 mole divided over 0 0.210 mole of oxygen plus the number of moles of nitrogen, which is 0 0.780. And we find that this number uh, is equal to 0 0.212. Okay, this is the, uh, the same thing as saying that 21.2% of the moles uh, of gas in this uh, uh, model atmosphere are equal to uh, or are due to oxygen. All right, so then we actually have all that we need to be able to solve for the partial pressure of oxygen in that mixture. Notice that solving for the partial pressure of oxygen is going to result in the following. This is just a mole fraction of oxygen multiplied by the total pressure, and then we have everything that we need. Okay, the mole fraction we just calculated, 0 0.212. Okay. And then the total pressure is equal to uh, 7544. All right, so that number ends up being equal to 160 torr. Right, a detail that is interesting is that notice that the mole fractions are actually dimensionless. They don't have any units, right? So uh, uh, they essentially provide you uh, the relative amount of one of, of one species in a mixture with other species. Again, it's dimensionless. Right, so uh, in this video we have uh, introduced the concept of mixtures of gases and how we begin to think about them. Right, we have talked about Dalton's law and how do you express concentrations, relative concentrations uh, of gases and mixtures by use of the mole fraction.